Hey YouTubers, um, just gonna do an update of the cabin edition. Pretty much dried in. I got a little leak right there. The tar paper is on the roof. I was going to run the green metal roof today, but it's been raining, and now it switched to a little uh, mixture there. It was snowing pretty good a little while ago. Kind of let up a little bit, but I got the windows in. I got the loft in on both sides. I'm gonna leave the plywood. I just cut the plywood the other day. It's not screwed down yet. That way I can put a ladder up and work on the insulating and stuff up there without crawling up there. Be a little easier and then I'll screw down the the floor to the loft uh, at a later time. Been running the electric. Put outlets pretty much every four foot. TV's going there, so I'm putting a double outlet there. Anywhere TV goes, I try to put extra outlets. A little outlet there for the air conditioner. I'm going to extend this loft out another two foot because she wants to put like a curtain rod. That's where her bed's going to be over here. I've got a little insulation up there. I've got to buy more. That was just enough to get me started. A friend of mine gave me this door. It's a real older, real thick, heavy door. So it's going to go in pretty soon. I might need a hand with that. That's why I'm waiting. You know, these boxes are getting wet. Really wanted to get that metal on the roof today. Oh well, I'm not getting up there on the ladder in this crap. Yeah, got a couple spots where the water's coming in. And the other day it didn't it rain, but it didn't rain enough for the water to come in here. So I got the little buddy heater going. Well, actually, that's the big buddy. It's an 18,000 BTU heater. Got that on in here. It's about 34 degrees out. Getting ready to put a box for a ceiling fan up there at the top there. Ceiling fan is going to go in here that way. Since it's got about a 10 foot ceiling in here, you run a heater in here, all the heat just wants to go and stay up there at the loft so the ceiling fan will help blow the heat back down and circulate it. Alright, so what we got going on. I'm going to turn the radio on and uh, get to work in here. I just got, just got home. Just really wanted to get that roof done today, but oh well, maybe I'll uh, I got to work tomorrow. I'm off Tuesday. Maybe I'll do it, get get it done Tuesday, hopefully. All right. See you guys. Just for a do a little update. Oh, on the floor. What what I was saying to Shelly is, by the time she puts bed in here, couch, furniture, you're not really going to see barely any of this floor because there's going to be so much stuff in here. So we're just going to run quarter inch. Uh, the plywood has got the good sanded side on one side. We're just going to run the plywood the opposite way to cover these cracks. And then we're going to run probably one by six knotty pine boards for the ceiling. So that should look real good. So we'll put the money into the ceiling instead of the floor. Because, you know, like I said, you're not going to see the floor hardly with, with everything in here. So if you had a real big building, big hallways, yeah, you could see the floor, but not, but not in here. So that's the plan. And uh, we've been staining it. I don't feel like doing a video outside right now because I don't want my camera getting wet. But uh, we did stain this T111. Also, when I did all the T111, I liquid nailed, liquid nailed it and nailed it to the to the studs here. So that's really strong. All right, I don't want to make this too long. It takes forever to upload. If I do, just figure I'd do a little update of the cabin edition. See you guys.